Hello my friends and welcome back to Order of Battle. It is episode 59 as we close in on the end of the game. Or at least the end of this DLC. I mean there's plenty more campaigns out there. I suppose we could call it the end of the original game since uh, when the game was paid for this was the only campaign there was. Right, we know that there's nothing here because of the nuke so we're gonna go here. Okay, it's just volunteers. The road is actually there, so I'll move those guys onto the road. Let's move my core forces in to kill the volunteers. I don't know whether I should clear this peninsula or not. There's probably a few units around in this peninsula. It's not, uh, It's not a, uh, um, an objective or anything, you know. Alright, what we got here? Lunge Miners, my favorite. Okay, those are the supply ships. Let's put those in sleep mode. probably not roll this artillery forward until the area is secure. Okay. Rangers, which I cannot repair until I bring them into a controlled tile. All right, the port is secured. We got ten turns left to get the other two. This is really the interesting objective. It's on a relatively tight timeline. Oh, I have to close the objective screen before I can do anything else. Right, before I start reloading my marines back in transports to attack these positions, I need to secure the water. Okay, some mines detected. Where's the old support ship? It's this one. Unfortunately, the support ship is kind of slow. 
that tile is clear, so let's go. like the mines are not like in a wall but they're actually porous which is which is good You need to land. Ah, oh, just out of range. All right, the bombers are available to do something. Probably, oh, crying out loud. Go off this artillery. Time for the fighters to evacuate. It looks like the enemy does not have much in the way of aircraft, so the fighters will be landed and bombers will be scrambled. Or even we could buy some more Black Widow multi rolls, so we do have some fighting capability while still retaining bombing. Carrier fire can stick around. <laughs> All right. Well, the old lunge miners can't do anything, so can't do anything but just sit there. I think these ports are actually reachable in the ground push. In time. Since it's just these two right here, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tiles away and ten turns to do it. And I mean, if you're not pushing it at least one tile per turn, are you really trying? that up one tile so I can blast them. Right, the small push. Okay, that's as far as they can go. Okay. Hmm. I guess this is a railway line, so it's uh, not. It doesn't provide any kind of movement bonus.
The old anti-aircraft guns feel a bit unnecessary. Alright, there's absolutely no reason to go up there, so... That is it. Sleep the supply ships. Uh, sure. We'll leapfrog them up. There's almost certainly units in the town. Well, of course there is. We bombed it. We know that there is. And then there's this anti-aircraft gun. What we want to do really is come out behind and get the anti-aircraft gun out of the way so that the bombing can continue. Do I have to take that? Nope. Just have to take this and then that's it. Then push on to Chiba. But it's not required to actually get Chiba. Okay. I could go after that with my aircraft. What's the odds that that's another one of these suicide planes? Where they're coming from is a bit of a mystery because there's no marked entrance on the map and they've got no airfields apart from this one airfield here. That's it. Multi-rolls could probably shoot down these, whatever they are. Yep, more suicide planes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So as long as I avoid having any units on that line, they will not get me. this uh, counter-attack. How? How did he... Oh, man, how does this happen on this difficulty all the time? <laughs> I would have done seven damage. They had four health. So I did three, and he got away with one. Surely, with such overwhelming odds, he shouldn't have been able to get away with that. Okay, well, whatever. Volunteer. 
volunteer for this. What is this? Japanese Infantry 45, okay. I think the shipping can probably deal with that. I wish I could see those planes that are up here. The radar signature for them has disappeared. Okay, we know there's nothing here. This has all been nuked. Stick my two tanks here just to blunt any counterattack because I saw a few more units moving down as well. So, okay, they can't take territory, but they can at least reveal if there's any infantry here, which there is not. Okay, quite a few targets on the coastline here that we can now see. I have to get rid of the speedboat. Let's say that the mines follow the pattern of being in every other tile, right? So then they wouldn't be here. Why didn't you just go past them? Okay, we know that these tiles are clear. Titan Kamikaze Submarine. Hmm, good times. Did I just take a point of damage there? Damn. Make sure that we keep that destroyer screen up because destroyers are cheap. Proper ships are expensive. Ah, oh, would you know? More suicide boats camouflaged in the port. Anti-tank gun is uh, not a threat. Okay, which enemies are the biggest issue?
plus two for zero plus. That means I got a 50-50 chance of taking one damage, or a 100% chance knowing my luck. There's no real need. You know there's probably units here. And here. Which I can't see. That's okay. Time for the fighters to land. Oh, I was always considering whether I should upgrade this Dauntless to uh, to the BTD destroyer. Not really much of a discount. I'm just going to repair and deploy. Hmm, interestingly, I can deploy all the way out here. Awesome. Just cuts down travel time. Super Fortress. Super Fortress. Who knows? It's a thought for another time because uh, I don't actually have the supply right now. I've got to wait for those fighters to leave the combat area. Again, they always get away with just a fraction of HP. Time to get to work on that anti-aircraft gun.
Uh, we'll worry about this next turn. move these units out of the range of this artillery. Uh, when I've got some free time I'll destroy it or I'll just move out of the way of it and just ignore it. One or the other. These counterattacks don't strike me as that scary so... Okay, I think that's everything. I'm going to take the support ship some time to clear the mines, if we need to clear them. If they're as sparse as this, then uh, they could be just ignored. Although... I suppose I could do that. Yep. No. Oh, didn't realize this unit hadn't moved. Team Blue has uh, decided to get involved. All right, well, you weren't going to hit that, were you? <laughs> Well, not weirdly, but engineers are the best defensive infantry, so attacking them is really a bad idea. At least with other infantry. Really? You know, it's almost like they just want to hold me there so that the artillery can carry on firing. Speedy boy, do 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 do. Is that a fire? They've got fires. actually got fires. Shocker.
I could re-scramble my fighters. Seven for zero plus. Oh no, that's infantry. Heavy infantry, it looks like. Yeah, the multi rolls would trade evenly. Great for shooting down suicide planes, but not so hot for dealing with, uh... ...this current situation. Okay. Well, a fighter with, uh, seven health is not going to assist here that well. Mobile anti air is too far away. Okay. Anti-air mode, go. This fighter defends these. This AA gun defends this. So that's fine. Fighters are back in the air. Three plus for one. Yeah, I suppose expecting more is kind of greedy. Um, Okay. I think the old destroyers can take care of the speedboat, so let's uh, focus the battleship down here.
All right, support ship is in place to start mine clearance work. Um, let's go. Move these up. These fighters will probably go after these guys. At least uh, the Corsair will punish them for it somewhat. K-102 Goshi Kaisen. It's actually inferior, really. units. Auxiliaries, of course, are baked. It's heavy infantry. Okay, I got plenty of force here, I just... It's gonna just take some time to clear this mess up. Some of these units, I think, are in main gun range of these battleships as well. That's a speedboat, so we don't want to close the distance with it. There is no point in doing so. Nice! Two damage. Good shot. Just notice that the supply situation is not that great, so I probably do need to clear this peninsula if only just to generate additional supplies. Still, we are uh, one, two, three, four tiles from there. One, two, three, four, five. Five tiles from there. And three, eight turns to uh, to get those. So,
I don't want to be drawn up here. There's just no reason to be up there. Draw, you know, it seems obvious, bring my infantry up here to kill these, and then go up here and kill this, and then suddenly I've got units all the way up there, and it's like, you know, but why? Anti-aircraft defences have been smashed. I see we have more infantry on its way. All oh, right, this position looks good. That's a spare fire. Looks like we've got some counter attacks coming in here. The bombers will have to retire soon. Five turns of fuel left probably need about two turns just to get to the undeployment zone. Thing. Okay, going after the supply ships. Okay, he went after the bomber, but it was protected. Okay, that stings a little bit. Although that infantry and a troop transport, my tank is going to absolutely eat that for breakfast. This does not seem like the smartest thing the AI has ever done. Ooh. Not sure a frontal assault on the perishing is exactly the greatest idea ever either. That's a real ship. Whatever that is, that's a real ship, and so is that. Because of the amount of movement. Speedboats are slow. These two might not be. 
It's hard to tell in the fog. All right, that's it for now. The heavy fighters might be able to bring down this plane, depending on what it is. Or the multi-rolls, I suppose. This, I can just land at the nearest carrier. Get it repaired and back in the air. No problem. This fighter is in a very exposed position now, with two land-based fighters are just like right there, available to take him out, and the Corsair... Uh, no, that's a Dauntless, okay. I thought that was my Corsair. Well, the Corsair is right here, isn't it? So That's three fighters in range. Three fighters in range of that. Probably the anti-aircraft gun as well. Yep. A number of Japanese units here, but they're all very weak. We'll just carry on uh, with the infantry and engineers, just uh, clear this peninsula, just to have the supply of it and also have the, the, the peace of mind that there's not anything there while we push for the ports. We're on a timeline to get them, but it's not the tightest timeline, I think. I think we're fine. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time.